Hey everyone, Cycriasin here, and in this lesson I'm going to be talking about the golden ratio, and golden rectangles, and golden spirals, and a bunch of golden stuff. And I'm doing this tutorial because um, I was asked by a few people to explain what the golden ratio is. And to be honest, I wasn't entirely sure what it was. Um, so I did some research and I found stuff that explained it like this and I'm not very good with algebra so <laughs> this didn't make a ton of sense to me but I spent some time just looking at it and okay I guess it makes sense um, so I'm gonna explain it and what is so great about the golden ratio anyway well Apparently, it's just something that is found in nature a lot, and that is appealing. Uh, some would say the most appealing uh, ratio of something to something else. Um, and it's supposed to be found in architecture a lot, and in art quite a bit too. Now, with the architecture thing, I kind of get it, and I kind of agree, like, yeah, I can see that. But with art, it was a bit sketchy. Like, I would see stuff like this and people would say, well, uh, the Mona Lisa has the golden ratio in it. And then I look at this and it's like, I'm not buying it. Like, this seems kind of like a little bit of BS. So, I don't know how much I'd actually use this. Uh, in fact, I don't think I would. Um, but this is a tutorial just explaining, you know, how to get those squares. So here's a new document, I'm gonna make a new layer. And this is gonna be pretty specific to Photoshop, but you can do this in other programs or even uh, by hand if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a square. And to get that, you just hold down shift with your marquee selected in Photoshop and it will give you a square and fill that and now I'm going to duplicate this layer and you do that with uh, control J as a shortcut and I'm going to so now I have two squares and they're the same size right I'm going to change the color of one of them so it's distinguishable and I'm going to make the bottom square different in size. So I'm going to hit Control T, and that's going to bring up uh, this, the transform tool. And at the top, you'll see there's a bunch of numbers. Now, under or after W, which is width, right now it's at 100%. I'm going to change that to 161. And this is the proportion, and hit enter. This is a proportion of a golden rectangle. So now if I took this, and let me just get some guides down first. So I'm just made, if you don't have these uh, ruler bars, control R brings it up. So um, I'm gonna drag out some guides. And like so, and this is just gonna help me place things because uh, this square when I move it around it's gonna snap to the guides see like when it gets close it kind of snaps to it if it's not doing that uh, go to view and make sure snap is on and so there we go so that's it that's the golden ratio it's 1 to 1.61 okay um, so this is a golden rectangle because it has that proportion. This is a golden ratio. Now we can get into golden spirals and more golden stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to duplicate this again. I'm going to change the color. And I just hit Control U to bring this up. And I don't know, something like that. And now I'm going to make another guide right here there we go and I'm gonna rotate this so I hit control T and I'm holding down shift and that makes it so 
it rotates, you know, like that instead of all free. It's restricted. Um, and I'm going to line this up with the edge of the blue rectangle. And I'm holding down shift and I'm scaling it. And if we did this right, it should be let's see on and off should fit. So basically, if you took this shape, um, let me make a new layer. No, there we go. If you took this rectangle, let me make it some other color. And you took this purple thing and turned it to the side, it would fit here like that. So it's maintaining a ratio. So basically, if this is A, the green one, so A and this one is B, a to B is equal to, if this one was C and this one was D, C to D, right? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, okay, and now I'm just going to keep doing the thing I just did. So I'm going to make a guide here. I'm going to duplicate this and, oops, duplicate it first. Control J, Control U, change the color. rotate it and so again all I'm doing is just continuously keeping that ratio um, let me make a guide again color a bit because it's too similar and each time I'm just copying it and I'm fitting it into the smaller rectangle so I'm taking this bigger one and making it into this smaller one and um, duplicate again Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go to eleven, I guess. Ten, eleven, maybe. Alright, so now we have a bunch of these and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to change my marquee to the elliptical marquee tool. So now I can make circles. So you'll notice that when I uh, click and drag to make a circle, it starts in like uh, the top corner or in this case the bottom, like you can do it from the bottom, but it starts at a corner and then it goes down. Um, if I hold the alt key, it's going to start from the middle and go out 
which is, uh, in this case, it's better. And if I hold down Shift, uh, you get a perfect circle. So if I hold down Alt and Shift, like that, get a perfect circle where I start from uh, the center of the circle. So I'm going to start from the bottom corner of this point. Hold down Alt and Shift and create a circle. Whoa. And just going to nudge it a little bit. I'm going to hit uh, go to edit stroke and four pixels is fine. And there we go. So I have a curve going from one corner of the, the square to this like greenish aqua colored square to the other. And I'm going to delete all this excess stuff. So I'm going to select this, hit shift control I to select the inverse and delete. And now I hit shift control I again to reselect this selection and control J. So now I have two layers with this same uh, curve and I'm going to hit control T and hold down shift and rotate it and move it to this side and scale it so it fits in this area and just do the same thing rotating and uh, duplicating this curve and I don't really have to hold down shift anymore because of the uh, the guides kind of leading this so control T You can see it's kind of forming a spiral. And this spiral is called a golden spiral. Control J, Control T. That's pretty much as far as I'm going to go because then it's going to get, uh, and I can see this one's a bit off. Some of these are a bit off, so let me fix that. And zoom out. All right. And that's pretty much how you get a golden spiral. And we can check it because Photoshop has this in the crop tool. You can change the view to golden ratio or golden spiral. So for instance, we can set it to golden ratio and now see if this fits in the golden ratio for the rectangle, which it does. Um, you'll notice, you know, this fits the aqua area and then there's this fitting in one of the, uh, it's not quite a third, but anyway, so there's that. And then Golden Spiral, Photoshop's versions, <laughs> it's more exact. So you can see at parts, uh, doing it myself, I was a bit off. But for the most part, you know, it's pretty close to fitting in that. So there's that. And again, what it's used for is uh, nice proportions and as I said before I don't really use it I might like I, I maybe I would use the uh, just a golden ratio uh, for golden spiral yeah I could see using it for design um, let's say I was doing a drawing and I don't know just for composition you could have like stuff here 
and then it would lead your eye to a focal point that's maybe here and like yeah that, that could work that's good composition um, but like beyond that I don't know but anyway if you just wanted to know how to do this then that's how you do it hope it helped and thanks for watching